shoot, here we are in our best workout clothes, but look at all these exercises. They require things like balls and chairs and weights. What am I, a millionaire? Little did you know, you can do all of these exercises with just yourself and a friend. Really? Yes. I'm Mark Muscle. I'm Workout Wendy. I'm Stretchy Sally. And I'm Butch. And welcome to Partner, Partner Workout! <sighs> welcome to warm ups. While we go through these stretches, if you need a modified version, look at Mark Muscle. And if you're feeling more advanced, you can look at Stretchy Sally. Let's begin. We're going to start by reaching up to the sky and slowly lowering ourselves down to the ground. We're going to take three deep breaths. One, two, three. Now slowly raise yourself up one vertebra at a time and reach back up to the sky. And we're going to do this two more times. So lower yourself down, touch your toes. One breath, two, three. And back up one more time all the way up to the sky, stretch it all out, and down. One, two, three, and back up. Nice, okay, now we're gonna move into toe touches. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're gonna add a lunge. And one, and two, and three, and four five, and six. Now we're going to add arms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job. Now let's move into lunges. So I'm going to move sideways so you can see. Remember, Stretchy Sally will be doing a more advanced version and Muscle Mark, Mark Muscle will be doing a modified version. So when you're doing a lunge, you want to make sure that your knee never goes over your toes in order to protect your knee. So, you're going to reach up to the sky and hinge forward. And then, you're going to come up into a starfish position and go onto the other knee. And reach up to the sky and hinge forward. And back up. We're ready to begin. And now, we are going to do some ab workout crunches to make your belly more defined. We can have a friend help hold down your feet so that you can get those crunches going. And for additional support, they can high five you as you go up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Next, we are going to do the candlestick which makes you have more abs because they are the best. For this, you lie down on your back with your friend behind you. I will grab my friend's ankles as I reach my feet up, touching hers. One, two, three, four, and make sure your back is against the ground to protect all of those muscles you're working. As you're watching this video, you can pause it and do five more repetitions to get the ultimate workout. All sorts of workouts can be helped with a partner. Even a simple jog can be a much better workout with a partner on your back. While we run, pause the video and do a few laps around a track with your friend. Action. Wasn't that a great workout? All sorts of things can be helped with a pint-sized friend. Even uh, a simple push-up can be better with a friend on your back. Let's demonstrate. <laughs> Maybe we should try a bench press instead. You can substitute this expensive weight for your friend's help. Let's try. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. 
sometimes it's worth it to splurge from, for an expensive way. A high-tech piece of exercise equipment like this can turn any exercise from none into fun. And I, as the helper, can spot him while he bench presses this wonderful cinder block. Yes, you're doing a great job. Now, if you want to do five more sets, that would be awesome. Okay, action. It's always helpful to add squats into your routine, but normal squats are no fun. Let's try some weighted squats. Here, my friend is going to jump on and add some real resistance. So the key to this is to make sure that your core is really tight and it, you uh, keep your back straight like you're making your way down a wall. <laughs> and one, and two. Oof, these are hard. <laughs> and three. You might want to pause the video here and get some real weights. <laughs> but if you decided to buy dinner last night instead of spending money on normal exercise equipment, you can still use your friend. Let's try some flyaways. She's going to push down on my arms to add resistance while I come up to a full T. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. This is a good point to pause the video and go and do five more sets. This stretch is great for releasing tension in your arms after a resistance workout. Now we're going to stretch out our neck. So go ahead and hug your head to your shoulder. Give it lots of love. And then the other side. And now we're going to move into pigeon. This stretch is great for releasing tension in your hips and also for releasing emotional tension. Make sure that you stretch your, flex your front foot in order to protect your knee. But don't be afraid if you start crying. It's pretty normal. There's a modified version which may be easier, but if it's still too difficult for you, you can just cry. Now, let's switch to the other leg. deep breaths as we raise our hands up to the sky. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for Partner, Partner Workout. Workout. I'm Mark Muscle. I'm Workout Wendy. I'm Stretchy Sally. And I'm Butch. Have a great day. <laughs>